this video we will discuss the problem tricky subset sum the problem says that there are n children and they are standing in a queue each of them is given a number ai the teacher writes the number s on a page and passes it to the first child each child must add all the numbers they see on a page along with their own number uh, write the sum on the paper and pass it to the next child so let us take an example suppose that the teacher gives as s is equal to 1 and there are four children and suppose they are given as 1 2 4 and 2 suppose the children are given as 1 2 4 and 2 so first of all what will happen you can see that one was already written then what will happen you can see that the previous number is what previous number is 1 okay so you can see that the previous number is nothing but 1 so the new number will be what new number will be 2 because 1 plus 1 then you can see the previous number changes to 2 now the new number will be 2 plus 2 that is 4 now the previous number changes to 4 so the new number will be 4 plus 4 8 then what happens the previous number changes to 8 and now the pre new number will be what uh, 2 plus 8 that is nothing but 10 so you can see that we are getting these numbers now in this case what they are saying is they are saying that uh, you have to find whether x is equal to 7 is possible or not so if you see here so if you see x is equal to 7 here so you can see that these numbers will be able to make x is equal to 7 because 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to nothing but 7 so that is how you can make it so how will we do this so basically for this approach what we can do is we will make our array okay we will make our array for ourselves let's say we may name it as v and what we will do is first of all we will insert this value 1 so we insert this value 1 and you can see that if x is equal to 7 then we don't need to generate the sum greater than 7 that is what we always need to take care of so then what will happen then you have uh, then what will have like first of all you insert 1 that is nothing but this s right after this you start from this element okay so what will be the sum uh, if the previous element is what previous is 1 so that means the new becomes nothing but 1 plus 1 that is 2 after that previous changes to 2 so the uh, current plus pre the ith element plus the previous element will be 4 then what happens the previous element become 4 the ith element is also 4 so the sum will be nothing but 8 then what happens the previous becomes 8 right the moment the previous becomes 8 so if the previous uh, is greater than x in that case you will not like if the previous is greater so in that case you will not be able to make it right so in that case you can simply stop making the combinations because this is the last combination that you would like to make now in this part once this part is done okay so once this is done so what you will do is you will simply try and make these things right so you will try to iterate from the back so now if you see for, for this array if you iterate from the back so let's say you uh, you write it here let's say you write this vector uh, here 1 2 4 and 8 then what you can see is if you iterate from the back if you iterate from here so what will happen if x is equal to 7 so x, like this element is greater so you will not be able to subtract it then what happens you move to this element 4 so can you subtract it yes you can subtract it so you subtract this 4 so the x value now becomes 3 okay now the x value becomes 3 after this what will happen now you move uh, move one step back right you keep on decreasing the indexes now you move to this 2 so you subtract this 2 so this becomes 1 after this what happens you come to this element once you come to this element so what you do is you subtract this as well and because it is uh, lesser than or equal to this value x the ith, uh, the current element ith element is lesser than equal to x so you subtract it then what happens x becomes 0 the moment x becomes 0 that is you can make that particular element so for all the smaller values you see like 1 plus 2 plus 4 is able to get that value right it, it's able to get this value 7 so that means you can make this okay now let's take another example let's take the second example that has been given to us so if we take have a look at the second example so in this case what will happen if we have uh, s is equal to let's say 100 s is equal to 100 has been given and what we have been given is suppose we have been given two values and uh, like x is equal to 500 here and the values given are 51 and 88 so if we have been given 51 and we have been given 88 so now in this case what will happen we have 100 already okay after that like the previous value is what previous value is 100 then what will happen we will add the current value so this will become like at this index it will become 151 now the previous changes to 151 now what will happen we will add this value as well so what will be the sum the sum will be nothing but 9 will come here and then 3 and this right so you can see that this, this these are the values that are coming now if you see that we will iterate from the back we will try to uh, subtract the higher values first of all so if you subtract this value so 500 minus 239 will give me what it will give me like something like this 
uh, this value 261 and then what happens i move to this value right 151 so once i move to 151 so i subtract 151 as well so what do i get i get it i get one like a uh, one one and zero then what happens i move to this 100 now i subtract this so what do i get i get nothing but 10 so you can see that x is not equal to zero right at the end x is not equal to zero and in that case whenever x is not equal to zero at the end of the loop in that case you need to return a false otherwise you need to return a true for this case so that is what you have to do so now let us write the code for this problem so what we'll be having is we'll first of all have the vector that we want to generate okay so we will declare this vector like v and then what will happen is we also need uh, need to push back the uh, s value so we will say that v dot push back will push back the current value so v dot push back nothing but uh, this value that is nothing but uh, s the given value okay after this part is done so what we will say is that we need to have a previous value so long long the previous value was what previous value was nothing but capital s right after this part we will start iterating so for int i starts from 0 i is lesser than n and then i plus plus okay and once we have started to iterate through this particular uh, loop uh, through the all the elements then what we will do is we will say that uh, long long current sum current sum is equal to what uh, let's write it like this so current sum is equal to what current sum is equal to nothing but the ith, uh, ith element plus the previous sum right that is what the current sum will be then what will happen we'll push it back into the answer vector so we will say that array dot push back nothing but uh, this thing current sum now once we have pushed it back so what we will say is that we need to increment our pre uh, previous uh, previous so previous plus is equal to the current sum okay previous plus is equal to current sum as i mentioned we will always keep on updating our previous sum right so previous uh, we will always keep on updating our previous sum with nothing but the current sum so once we have updated it so what we will say is that if the previous is greater than the x if the previous is greater than the x in that case we will not make the array any longer and we will break after this part is done so what we will do is we will start the reverse iteration uh, for the uh, for the array that we have made so we will say like we should write it like v because i have taken the array as v so we should write v dot put back then what will happen i is equal to v dot size minus one okay and then i is greater or equal to zero right and we also need to check if uh, i minus minus condition is there okay and then what i will say is that if array of i is lesser equal to the given value x okay if it is lesser equal to x in that case i will say that x minus is equal to array of i so i'll subtract the ith uh, value from x and the moment it happens that x becomes zero after some subtractions so in that case i can return nothing but one indicating that uh, indicating that this subset has been made otherwise i'll keep on doing i minus minus and in the end if i never return a one so i'll return zero indicating that it is not possible right it is not possible for making such value of x let us try and compile this code to see if it works on the samples so yeah so i should write here v instead of array right now it should work another compilation error so yeah so i need to subtract v from it not the array now let us see if it works on the samples we can see that it is giving a yes on the samples let us try and submit this code we can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases now talking about the time complexity and the space complexity of this particular problem so the time complexity for this problem the time complexity for this problem is going to be order of n and the space complexity for this problem is going to be order of n as well because we are using the extra array and order of n time complexity because we are iterating linearly through the array thank you for watching this video